September 23rd, 2012, at my cast vlogs with a movie review. That's why I showed you Subway Camp 1. I just got done watching that. And when I get home, I'll probably watch Subway Camp 4 that goes with Subway Camp 1. With the actors grown up. And I already talked about this in Subway Camp 2 review. So if you have Excuse me. So you haven't so if you haven't seen Sleepway Camp 2's reviews, please do so now by clicking on this plant. If I didn't upload it yet, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to upload it if I upload this one first. Okay. So basically Things. Basically, sleep. I'm trying to sit down here. But Sleepaway Camp One is an awesome movie. It tells the story of how this Angela Baker character comes to life. It starts out. The first part is kind of boring because they're showing the camp and it's just music. But after it says Camp Alwak for sale, then it gets interesting. So I usually skip that part. Where it's this girl and this boy, little boy and his father and their father out in the water at lake, swimming on a boat, having a good time, just goofing off. And then you got teenage kids being really dumb and stupid in the lake when one person is trying to water ski. There's this guy and the girl flirting with each other and the girl wants to drive. And the guy's like, no. If, if I let you drive, we're going to get in big trouble. Blah, blah, blah. The part that you don't want to miss is the ending. Because then you get to find out who Angela really is. That's why I can't tell you. All I can tell you is one of the kids dies and the father. And the aunt takes care of the other child. And... Ricky is the cousin that helps takes care of, help take care of her while at the camp. And this guy named Paul falls in love with her and wants to date her. But yet she kills him, which doesn't make sense since because if I was her, if a guy was into me, I'd be like, Okay, you're safe, I won't kill you. But she's only killing the bad kids at the camp. Like Meg. It's so funny how when Meg introduces herself, she's like, Hi, my name is Meg. M E G Meg. You got any issues? Got any problems? Go to her, not me. Go to Marge. It's like, really? That's why you died. And the way she dies is the only one out of all of them that, besides the boat accident, that was really. Uh, you don't want to watch because it's just like. Even I'm about to take a shower, so I don't even want to think about it. And then there's, um, a lo and then there's, the cook is a creeper, like a child molester, because he wants to fuck a little child. Um, the way he dies is kind of weird and creepy. At first, they try to keep it hush hush until the campers start getting it, and then they're like, eh. One gets it by bees, which is kind of interesting. But, anyways, all in all, it's not a bad first movie. Because, yes, the movie was dated back from the day where they didn't have much technology to do crazy, unique things. So, yeah, a lot of people are not going to think it's a good movie. But then, when you see two, three, and four, then you're like, because then they had good technology and it's like oh okay well three is kind of like one where they didn't have much technology apparently and it sucked but two and four had lots of good technology so it worked great and that's why those are the two best ones out of all four of them 
movies. If you you should see the movie, give you a review and tell me what you think. Be honest, be brutally honest. If you think it sucked, tell me. If you have more to say about the movie to get people to watch it, go ahead and make a video response. I'm trying to make a video here, you stupid ass motherfucker chainsaw. Anyways, so if you would like to, hope you can hear me, make a video response on saying more, go right ahead and I'll make a second video saying this person has more to say on Sleepaway Camp. Go watch their video and take a look. And I'll do that. If you want a shout out, let me know. Anyways, bye till then. Go watch Sleepaway Camp.